Over the course of this video, I will guide you through seven crucial rules that are foundational to your financial education. Each rule represents a strategic step towards not just managing, but excelling in your financial life. Pay special attention to the seventh rule. It presents a groundbreaking perspective that will revolutionize the way you approach and manage your finances. Trust in this journey. It's designed to empower you with the knowledge to thrive. In today's world, where financial decisions can have long-lasting impacts on your life. Understanding how to manage your money wisely is crucial. This is known as financial education, also known as financial literacy, and mastering it can open doors to personal freedom and security. Rule one, don't invest in what you don't understand. Our first rule is foundational. Never invest in something you don't fully grasp. Whether it's stocks, real estate, or cryptocurrencies, understanding what you're putting your money into is critical. Misunderstandings or lack of knowledge can lead to significant financial losses. Before you invest, take the time to research thoroughly, seek advice from financial experts, and even take courses if necessary. Your investment should always be based on clear knowledge and a strong conviction in the potential of the asset. This rule sets the stage for safer, more informed investment decisions. But how you handle money doesn't stop here. Up next, we'll explore a tool that is often misunderstood but can be incredibly powerful if used correctly. Debt. Rule two debt is a powerful tool. Debt is often seen as a negative force, but when used wisely, it can be a powerful tool for financial growth. It's all about understanding the difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debt helps you generate income or increases your net worth, like a mortgage on a rental property or a loan for education that enhances your career prospects. Bad debt, on the other hand, includes things like high-interest credit card debt used for purchasing non-essential items, which doesn't contribute to your financial growth. Let me share a quick story about how I learned to use debt to my advantage. A few years ago, I was considering going back to school for an advanced degree. The tuition was steep, and taking out a loan was inevitable. Instead of diving in without a plan, I spent weeks understanding my financial situation and crafting a detailed repayment strategy. I also calculated the potential increase in earnings post-graduation to ensure the return on investment made sense. By approaching this debt as an investment in my future, not only did I enhance my career prospects, but I also managed to pay off the loan ahead of schedule thanks to the higher income. This experience taught me that with the right plan, debt can indeed be a lever for building wealth rather than a burden. Next, we'll explore a mindset shift that is crucial for leveraging these tools effectively. Rule three, think rich. However, adopting a think rich mentality also involves taking practical actions, not just harboring aspirations. It means making financial decisions that are strategically aligned with long-term wealth creation. For example, investing in assets that appreciate or generate income over time, such as stocks, real estate, or starting your own business. It's about using your money to build future financial security, not just for immediate gratification. Let me tell you about my friend, Sarah. She always had a knack for seeing potential where others saw none. A few years back, Sarah decided to purchase a small, run-down apartment building in an undervalued neighborhood. Many thought she was making a mistake, spending her hard-earned money on what looked like a losing deal. However, Sarah saw it as an opportunity to create long-term value. She renovated the apartments one by one, which not only increased the property's value, but also the rental income she could charge. Today, that building generates a net rental income of $1,320 each month after covering all expenses and mortgage payments. This income not only covers all of Sarah's monthly expenses, but also provides additional financial cushioning. Sarah's approach is a prime example of thinking rich. She strategically used her money to create an asset that not only secures her immediate financial needs, but also promises continued growth and income generation, effectively securing her financial future. Now, while maintaining this mindset, it's also crucial to continuously update your skills and knowledge, which leads us to our next rule. If you're finding this information interesting or helpful, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more insights and tips on managing your finances effectively. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content that can make a real difference in your financial journey. And don't forget to comment your story below. Rule four, develop skills to acquire assets. Your most valuable asset in achieving financial independence isn't tangible, it's your skill set. Developing high demand skills can directly contribute to your ability to generate income and ultimately to acquire assets. 
These skills can range from technical abilities specific to your field to broader skills like critical thinking, financial analysis, or leadership. Investing in your education and training is crucial. This doesn't always mean formal education. It can be as simple as online courses, workshops, or self-study. By continuously enhancing your skills, you not only increase your earning potential, but also improve your ability to make informed financial decisions. With enhanced skills, you're better equipped to capitalize on opportunities and manage investments wisely, which segues into our next rule about the importance of saving with a purpose. We'll explore how strategic saving can empower your investment decisions with the next rule. Rule 5. Save to invest, not just to save. Saving money is foundational to financial literacy, but the purpose behind your savings can make a significant difference. Instead of just accumulating money in a bank account, think of your savings as a fund for future investments. This approach transforms passive savings into active financial growth. Here's how you can do it. Set clear financial goals. Determine what you're saving for, whether it's buying real estate, starting a business, or investing in the stock market. Automate your savings. Make use of automated systems to regularly transfer a portion of your income into savings or investment accounts. This reduces the temptation to spend and helps build your funds consistently. Research investment opportunities. While your money grows in savings, spend time researching where to invest it. Look for opportunities that match your financial goals and risk tolerance. By saving with the intent to invest, you are not just storing wealth but are setting the stage for financial multiplication. This proactive approach is key to transitioning from merely saving money to growing it significantly. Next, we will talk about the importance of having a financial safety net, preparing you for unforeseen financial challenges. Rule 6. Always have a financial safety net. A financial safety net is essential for managing unexpected financial situations without jeopardizing your long-term investments. This safety net, or emergency fund, should be robust enough to cover your essential expenses for several months in case of unforeseen circumstances like job loss, medical emergencies, or urgent home repairs. Here's how to effectively build and maintain this safety net. Calculate your essential expenses. Determine how much you need monthly to cover all necessities. This will guide you on how much you need to save. Start small, build gradually. Begin by setting aside a small portion of your income regularly until the fund reaches your target amount. Keep it accessible but separate. Store your emergency fund in an account that offers easy access without tempting you to use it for day-to-day -day expenses. Here's a prime example of why you need a safety net. Ellie had always been careful with her money, often saving more than her friends thought necessary. They teased her about her modest car and rare dining out, but Ellie had a plan. She diligently built up a safety net, a financial buffer that she hoped she'd never need, but felt compelled to have. One winter, her community was hit by a severe ice storm, causing widespread damage. Ellie's home suffered significant roof damage, an unexpected and costly repair that was urgent as more storms were forecasted, thanks to her safety net. Ellie was able to pay for the repairs outright, avoiding the high interest debt that many of her neighbors faced, who were unprepared for such an expense. This preparation not only stabilized her financial situation amid the crisis, but also provided immense peace of mind. Ellie could handle the emergency without financial strain, a relief that many around her did not experience. This incident reinforced her belief in the importance of a safety net, proving it was not just a financial strategy, but a critical component of a secure life. The seventh and final rule is a transformative and often overlooked aspect of financial education that can significantly influence your approach to wealth. Stay tuned for this exciting revelation. Rule seven, the transformative power of giving back. While financial education often focuses on accumulating and managing wealth, the last rule encourages you to look beyond your personal financial gains. Giving back, whether through charitable donations, community service, or mentoring others in financial education, can profoundly impact your personal growth and societal well-being. Here's why this rule is transformative. Enhances personal fulfillment. Engaging in acts of generosity increases life satisfaction and happiness. It reinforces a positive self-image and can enhance your sense of purpose. Builds strong networks. By supporting and interacting with various community initiatives, you can develop significant relationships with like-minded individuals and organizations, which may lead to new opportunities. Promotes sustainable wealth. Sharing your success helps foster a healthier, more financially aware community, creating a better environment for everyone's prosperity. 
This seventh rule shifts the focus from merely being a recipient of wealth to becoming a contributor to the welfare of others. It illustrates that true financial wisdom involves more than just personal gain. It's about making a lasting impact. With this transformative seventh rule, our series on financial literacy doesn't end. Rather, it's just the beginning of a deeper exploration into mastering your financial destiny. Each rule we've discussed builds upon the last, forming a comprehensive guide designed not only to enhance your financial situation, but also to positively impact the community around you. Remember, financial literacy goes beyond mere wealth accumulation. It's about leveraging that wealth to create meaningful, lasting change. To continue your journey and truly jumpstart your financial education, I encourage you to watch our series of investing videos. These will provide you with practical steps and advanced strategies to further develop your financial education. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refine your existing knowledge, there's always more to learn. If you're finding this information interesting or helpful, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more insights and tips on managing your finances effectively. Comment below. Your support helps us continue to provide valuable content that can make a real difference in your financial journey.